grow a spectacular six-sided snowflake. Turn a pile of sugar cubes into a sweet little skyscraper. Mount a monster tickle attack. And turn a top with a heat of your hands. Ooh, I like getting my hot little hands on all this lovely money. You can count on that, Dana. <laughs> ha! If you want to get into counting serious amounts of money, just you wait and see what Nicole and Damon are about to come up with. Damon always picks out the raisins from his breakfast cereal. He hates raisins. But I've got something he'll really like. My uncle's given us his coin jar. Look how much money's in there. We can afford all sorts of stuff. Except now we have to count it all. It's going to take ages. Unless we can come up with a way to sort the coins quickly. Hmm. Let's make a super fast coin sorter. OK, I've got the goods. As well as this box and some cardboard, we'll need scissors, pen and sticky tape. Now first, I measure up the box. Width and then depth. Now we're going to need cardboard dividers that size. Width and depth. I'll just cut them out. And now it's time to make some holes for the cash to fall through. <laughs> Daniel and I are holding a building competition. Whoever builds the biggest tower of sugar cubes wins. Daniel seems pretty confident. But it's neck and neck at the moment. I wonder how tall we can go. Whoops! Oh no! The whole thing collapsed! Darn! <laughs> uh oh! Daniel's not laughing so much now. We need something to help the cube stick together. Hey! Something that acts like mortar in bricks. And I know just how to make it. Okay, I've got all the ingredients to make our own mortar. First, we need to separate three egg whites from their yolks. Good. OK, now for some icing sugar. We need about a cup and a half. Add it to the egg whites. And mix it together with a whisk. Oh, this is hard work. I think Daniel could use a workout. Keep going till it forms a thick gooey paste. Excellent! Now we're ready to do some serious building. Grab some ice cream sticks and start applying our mortar to the cubes. Nice and sticky. Egg whites contain glue-like proteins. Proteins are sticky because they are long, stringy chains of molecules that seep into the tiny spaces of other material. When they dry, they stay there. That's why eggy plates are sometimes hard to clean. And it's why sugar and egg combine to form yummy, sticky desserts. By the way, that's exactly what Jade's mixture is. A scrumptious meringue. There! The strongest sugar cube towel I've ever seen. Oh, wow! Our mortar's tough enough to hold up the yummiest looking igloo I've ever seen. But it won't stand up to an attack from my teeth. Best bit of construction work I've seen in a while. Is that what you'd call the sweet taste of success, Dana? <laughs> Very funny. Not. If we're going to talk about success, I'd rather find out whether our clever coin sorters are having any success with their money counting machine. Our coin sorter is underway. And first, we trace around our biggest size coin. Let's have a few of them. Now I'll draw a line slightly inside the coin size and cut around that inside line. Now work with me here, Damon. The large coins can't fit through, right? But the middle-sized ones will. See? And so will the smallest ones, right? OK, Damon, you cut out the rest of the holes while I work on the next divider. For this one, I trace around the middle-sized coin. Draw a line inside that one and cut around that line. Those holes will let only the smallest coins through. Now I'll make some edges on our dividers. Tape up the edges together. They've got to be strong enough to hold up a stack of coins. Tape it to the walls of the box. Now the second divider. We'll tape that into the box too. Now the tricky bit. 
holes in the top of the box to allow all our coins to go through. So for that, I'll need to draw a line slightly larger than our biggest coins. Oops, I'm making a bit of a mess. But don't worry, Damon. It will tidy up like this. OK, done. Sticky tape, fold the flaps in, and there we have a brilliant coin sorter. Now to see if it lives up to its name. I love playing in the snow. It's so pretty. Mom says every snowflake is a perfectly balanced six-sided crystal. Well, I can't see any six-sided shapes in this snow. Maybe I can make my own crystal snowflake. Yeah, great idea. Okay, one snowflake coming up. I'll need three equal lengths of pipe cleaner, crossed over in the middle like this, and twisted together. Now I'll run some thread between the six points. That's my six-sided crystal shape. Pretty cute, huh? I'll attach it to this pencil and check that it fits into the jar. Now to make it look like an ice crystal, I fill this glass jar with warm water from the tap and tip in two big spoonfuls of borax laundry powder. Stir it until it's all dissolved. Now I lower in my snowflake shape and let it dangle in the mixture for a whole day. Time to check on my snowflake creation. Wow, that is really cool. It sparkles just like a real snowflake. Yep, that's because those are crystals coating the pipe cleaner frame. The borax crystals look different to water crystals, but they form in the same way. A crystal forms when molecules attach to one another in a repeating pattern. Snowflake crystals are made from water molecules and always form a six-sided shape. I'll hang this in my bedroom window to remind me how beautiful snowflakes are. Snowflakes are so beautiful. What a pity you can't reach out and grab them. They just melt away. <laughs> That's the problem with having warm hands, Dana. But as Lara's about to show us, hot little hands can be a good thing. Wow. Rubbing your hands together fast sure does make them hot. I know how to use that heat for a really cool trick. First, I'll cut out a small paper square. That looks a good size. Next, fold the paper square in half to form a triangle. Unfold it, then fold it in half again, but from the other corner. There, my paper's ready for action. Now, with a pin and a pencil, I make the base. Very carefully push the pin into the razor. Yep, I reckon that'll work. Place the folded paper square on top of the pin. Now to generate some serious heat. And here comes the magic. Cup your hands just under the paper. And abracadabra. Some real hot magic. The paper spins because of the heat from Lara's hands. Warm air is lighter than cool air and rises into the underside of Lyra's paper square, causing it to turn. And all that by the power of my hot little hands. I love reading my old diary entries, my own private thoughts for no one else's eyes. Hey! Give my diary back! Fraser is not getting away with this. Hmm, luckily I know Fraser's weakness. Tickling. <laughs> He's so ticklish. <laughs> I'll have my diary back in no time. <laughs> there, got it. I knew his surrender wouldn't take long. Fraser's ticklish all over, but my only weak spot's on my neck. I'll try it myself. Hey, that's funny. It doesn't tickle one bit. Maybe I've lost my tickle bone. I need some help with this, and I know just the person. OK, let's see what happens when Fraser tickles my neck. Wow, it works instantly. Stop! Yep, I'm still ticklish. But I wonder if I can control the urge to squirm. Maybe if I relax. A bit of yo 
how good breathing should do it. Hum. Okay, time for the tickle monster to attack. No, can't feel a thing. Just stay calm and breathe. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> That unmistakable ticklish feeling is a natural reaction. Scientists believe it's to warn us when a creepy crawly settles on our skin. And it's true that it's nearly impossible to tickle yourself. That's probably because the brain knows the tickle's coming and prepares itself for it. Stop! No more, please! You wouldn't dare try that again. Here we go again! I'm so ticklish, don't stop! I'll pay you to stop! Ooh, in that case, more money for me. I might even need to borrow Nicole's coin sorter, if it works, that is. It's time to put our coin sorter to the test. Grab a handful, Damon. We'll put them in the top holes like this. Keep piling them in. Excellent! All the coins are in. Now it's shakedown time. Yep, I can hear them falling through. OK, let's have a look inside. Yes, they're all separated. Biggest ones on top, then the middle-sized ones, with the smallest on the bottom. Yep, sorted. By measuring and cutting holes of just the right circumference, smaller coins fall through the larger holes, leaving the bigger coins behind. So with holes of different sizes, and a little help from gravity, coin sorting devices can separate all sorts of different sized coins. Time to count the cash. Damon can do the big ones, and I'll pick out all the tiny ones. Hey, I've just thought of something. Damon keeps picking out the raisins from his muesli. I think our next project should be a cereal sorting machine. I'm off to make one of those coin sorters to count all my lovely money. Wait for me, Taryn. I'm coming too. Because we've come to the end of another show. See you next time. time.